Hello everybody. I decided to start a little vlog series about starting my own darkroom. As you can see around here, I'm in my basement setting up space for my darkroom. Well, of course it needs to be dark for the darkroom and all that. So all this old bed will disappear, get out of here. Here I got the plumbing for the water and the drain and all that so we'll have a nice sink over here of course we already the sink already arrived so this is our nice deep sink with the water faucet and the soap in case and all that stuff like that yeah so we will so i will hang this sink up somewhere around here and we'll be connected to have a water supply in the dark room. This is all just a temporary setup to test things out. Of course, we got our black and white Adonol developer. It's an American uh, Rodinol. That's the same thing. Just in Europe, it's called Adonol. Yeah, so we got our mask here. We got a light bulb for the enlarger. We got some uh, variant filters for black and white photography. And this is the and larger I will be using. It's a Crocus. It's a Polish made. Oh, let's get some light over here. It's a Crocus 44L color. It's made for color photography. I did order uh, color filters for it that will go into this drawer here. For it so i will be doing also some color photography but not very much you put the film in there i got that uh film holder somewhere else uh, for now this is just the box it came originally all in i still got photographic paper from the 80s i think that expired in 80 something um hmm, don't know where the expiration date on here is yeah, so, but it's 40 year old photo paper for black and white. So I will try to get this to work because it's very old paper and it usually needed older chemicals. And here we got the enlarger with its table here. We need to connect it all up, put the bulb in there, test it if everything works. It should, everything should work properly. And we got this nice darkroom starter kit from Ilford in cooperation with Patterson. It includes the, the paper, developer, Ilfostop, rapid fixer, graduate, graduate, chemical mixer, thermometer, uh, three trays, print tongs, micro focus finder, all the things you need to start your own little darkroom. I already took some things out of here, but I got here some extra things. Yeah, this was the graduate. I was using that already. Oh, I actually got another light bulb here. I just bought the new light bulb. Was it included in the set? No. Huh. I didn't even remember I bought a light bulb earlier. So I got two light bulbs, just in case. Oh yeah, I got it with the black light. Well, that's not a black light. It's the red darkroom light. Yeah, so I guess I got the light bulb with this. So this will be our darkroom red light. Because I need to pull some power up to here. Because that lamp is the furthest uh, it can reach from the nearest power outlet. I don't have any power outlets here yet. So I'm going to have to pull some power over here. Yeah, so we got the tongs. And we got the chemicals. We got a smaller and the micro focus finder, nine inch thermometer, uh, looks more comfortable to use than my regular tiny little thermometer I have to measure the chemicals. Sometimes I can't reach deep enough into the container. Yeah, and this I already used, so it's not in the package. It's the chemical mixer that you see on the photo here. It comes in handy because I used to use a, a wooden stick <laughs> to mix my chemicals because I didn't want to destroy any knives or forks or spoons or anything like that and this we got the paper 
but of course with the paper uh, I don't want to start off doing such large photos because I'm new to this so to test out uh, if everything comes out good this is 8 by 10 inch so I will be using this guillotine I bought here in complete darkness I will be cutting this up to make a uh, little prints so this paper will be cut in four to be able to make four prints from one piece of paper this is the paper you get with this starting setup uh, to learn everything and we got the chemicals and the three trays red white and gray so and of course you mix those chemicals with water, I suppose. Doesn't say here, but I guess it would be all in the instructions online somewhere. Yeah, so. So this place in the vlogs, I will be updating the progress. We will make the sink here. Uh, the enlarger will be somewhere it's standing as right here with another table over here instead of all this mess there will be a table here so we can have the uh the trays laying over here i'm doing it this way because the ceiling is very low on this side so i can't have my enlarger here the enlarger when it goes up high it's actually quite high so uh it will be have to stay here somewhere about this place I still got to figure this out because, as you can see, I got a lot of room here, so I was planning the entrance over here, but thinking of it now, the trays here and the wash over here, it's going to be quite a far distance to get everything wet with chemicals and water and all that here, so we'll see how that works. If you want to see the progress, stay tuned. So hope you liked this video. If you're interested, please remember to subscribe and see more updates from the darkroom and also videos, some tutorials, film photography related, darkroom related stuff and all that. So thank you for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.